hey, it's Don. Today, I'm going to do something different. Not only am I going to show you some items to look for, but I'm going to also show you why they are collected, why this particular type of items are sought after. Without further ado, we're actually going to talk today about Harold Lloyd. If you've never heard of Harold Lloyd, you're not alone. There's a ton of people these days who have no clue on who he is. He was probably one of the biggest stars just after World War I through into the 20s. And what we're looking at now are some actual scenes from Safety Last, which is actually a movie of his that came out in 1923. It was a silent film. Unlike many of the performers of the day, Harold Lloyd performed most of his own stunts. Now, some scenes where he's climbing and scaling very high up on top of a nine-story building, a ten-story building, he actually had a stuntman for a few of those. But many of the shots where he's 20, 30 feet off the ground are actually him. In 1919, Lloyd was actually doing a photo shoot. They were supposed to be handing him a prop bomb, and what they actually handed him was live ammunition, basically. The bomb went off in his hand. It actually blew off his right thumb and one of his fingers. He had burns all over his body, his chest. He spent months recovering from this, so all of the movies after 1920, he actually did with a glove on, even the stunts. So some of the scenes you're going to see here, he actually performed with only eight fingers. He scaled buildings with this. When I was younger, I watched early videos like this. I knew who Harold Lloyd was. Um, I knew Abbott and Costello, Three Stooges, Charlie Chaplin. So this is one of the ones that has been forgotten because of the way he actually wanted his movies re-released. He wanted organ music in the whole works. Now, the scene of Harold Lloyd hanging from the clock was actually filmed in downtown Los Angeles on Broadway Street. The actual traffic you see was live traffic. It was actually filmed with him hanging on a prop that was built up on top of a nine-story building. So it was done at a specific angle, so it looked like it was there. This was one of the first times that such a perspective was used. The audience actually gasped when he actually performed this and when they were actually seen the movie. Now, what you're hearing in the background is actually jazz music from the actually 20s of this era he would have had organ music playing basically through it he did most of his own stunts they were very dangerous nowadays no one would ever even think of doing half the things that he did he's got a long career he actually later on in his life took nude photos he actually has a huge photo shoot that he did with Marilyn Monroe and in that photo shoot he did actually stereoscopic and 3d images there's many books and slides that you can actually find of that as well so he was actually a very interesting character. Not only was he the actor, but he was a photographer and a stuntman. And not just a minor stuntman, but he did some horrendously dangerous acts. But he was probably one of the best stuntmen of the day. Again, creating and doing actually mostly all of his own stunts. He did five or so movies actually in downtown scenes in Los Angeles and the area in Broadway. Many of those scenes, people did scale and climb outside these buildings. There wasn't safety nets for the most part, so if somebody did fall, they were plummeting down to the ground. There wasn't safety laws and OSHA and the whole works back then, so it was a, a very dangerous time, and he was a very interesting gentleman. We're going to cut over to some collectibles right now, and you'll get to see some of the interesting items that were actually spawned from his legendary career in the silent era movies. So here's the collectible side of Harold Lloyd. He did a ton of different things, not just in the silent movies. He was well known. He hung out with famous people as well. He photographed live nude models and famous people as well as Marilyn Monroe. There's a whole series of 3D stereo optic views that he took actually of nude models as well. But the Marilyn Monroe adult images are probably the most well known by him. I have a slide in here as well. We're just going to flip through these really quick so you can see them and we're going to talk about Harold Lloyd for a few moments here. Uh, this is the first one here. It's a Ross Verlag postcard similar to all the other ones that I have found and sold and that I show you as well. $609 on this one here. Now anything that was around in the time just like Charlie Chaplin just like they do for the Three Stooges was available for Harold Lloyd. Here's another example. It's a tin bank. His mouth actually opens up and the coin goes in. This is roughly $400 for this one and it wasn't in great condition. His autograph. Now his autograph is fairly scarce. There's some provenance to this. $432 for his autograph. Next one here is from Safety Last, his classic scene. This is the, the most famous popular comedy scene, I would say, of this era, is this scene from him hanging from the clock, which we did see. 
This one sold for $379, and he has two more of these. They still make Harold Lloyd collectibles to this day, just like the Three Stooges. He wasn't as well collected because he had some strict issues with how they played the movies that he created, and in some cases he wouldn't let them play on reruns or re-releases because he wanted them to be played with organs and things like that as they were originally created to be done. So he kind of set himself off from other people, and it actually hurt his popularity and he kind of dwindled from there until he got popular with the photographs and had that market and avenue. Next item here is actually the 16 millimeter feature film Safety Last. Now I've had this, I've had the 8 millimeter. I just showed some Harold Lloyd 8 millimeters in some of my what sold on eBay videos. So if you want to see what they sell for, you can pop back and check that out. For some of the standard 8 millimeters, this is the 16 millimeter version though. It went for over $300. We'll just flip through a few. Here's another wind-up tin toy, Harold Lloyd again. All Harold Lloyd items, anything you could have imagined they made, 335. His autographed photo. Made out to the American Legion. He did a lot of volunteer work and things along that line. $257. It's 11 by 14, so it's a big one that would have been made to hang actually in the American Legion Hall by, by most standards. Next one here, another one of the same ones. You can see a little better here, 169. Now he does have some dings and some pushes to the face. It's a little bit messed up slightly, but uh, as long as they still work, it's a good plus. And even if they don't work, people will fix them and uh, repair them as well. So 13 bids on that one. Now here's again, one reel, real one. This is just one reel of the movie. It's missing the rest and it's still sold for $150. So this one I believe was like four reels or so. Uh, 150 as I said. Now, that's just an image they use. That's not actually what's what you're getting. Here's a lobby card from him, $139. So again, any of the areas that I've shown you in the past, you can find his material. And it has cross-category interest because, again, he did movies. He did all kinds of avenues of, of art and entertainment throughout his career. Next one here. Now, this is modern. They still release DVD collections. It's a seven-disc set. This is from 2005. These do show up. You can get them because most people don't know who he is. They think he's, you know, long forgotten, but there are still a ton of collectors. This is actually what it sold for $131 still to this day. So you can see there is some potential here. Now, you're not going to find a ton of his material, but if you don't know who these type of people are, you're not going to know to look for his material in the first place. So... Uh, next one here is a lobby card, and it does have some damage, as you can see. It's missing a chunk. It's got some damage on the bottom. Water stains the whole works, and it's still sold for basically $130. Next one here is a glass slide. Now, this is basically what a coming attraction was at one point. So you'd actually go, and this would be projected during, um, like, intermissions and things along that line. So these do show up. I have found some of these in the past. So this is something you can actually find. It's dated 1924. It's early. It's original. So 106 on this one here. Next one's another interesting mechanical scissor toy. Just something interesting. Um, I believe his hat moves or something. Oh, he moves from side to side, yeah, and his hat does come up, as you can see. 100 bucks, not in super condition. It's not a super rare item, but again, it's, it's still an early item. It's something interesting. It's going to sell. I would have probably put 150 on it as a bin, and it would, probably would have sold for that. Next one here is a movie poster when he was actually in sound pictures. He didn't carry over as well into the sound um, pictures, but he was mostly known for his stunts and his comedy back in the silent era. Now here is from the Harold Lloyd Trust. There's an organization that still produces things like this. These are brand new Radco Christmas ornaments. Stylized design from, you know, his um, era and such forth too. So it was a rather interesting item. A hundred bucks for the pair. Another just a photo of him. Large format. I believe this was 11 by 14 as well. I think it's actually the same one. hundred bucks unsigned. Next one is one of the Marilyn Monroe. This is one of the slides. It's an actual copy from 1953 um, of it. And they were mass produced at some point too. But this is literally uh, one of the slides. He took this photo of Marilyn Monroe at his house. So he still was in popularity, still had the contacts in Hollywood all the way up into the 50s, 60s. So um, rather interesting long career for the gentleman. Next one here is a couple snapshots, um, and actually Mary Pickford's in here too. She was an actress from the silent era as well, so it's just a couple of candid photos, probably out of someone's personal photo collection. 
uh, fifty six dollars on this set. Now here again is the clock scene. Another, I believe, yeah, it's a Radco, and it's from the Harold Lloyd Trust as well too. This one's very popular. As I said, this is the bomb for him. This was the most dramatic scene you could have imagined back then. People just gasped when they saw him hanging from the building. So, And he did most of his own stunts, as I said before. 50 bucks on this one. Now, these are just Harold Lloyd-like glasses. It doesn't mean they were his. It doesn't even necessarily mean that these would have been a, a model or version that he wore. It's just the stylized from the era. $36. These do still show up. These are actually made out of celluloid or like an early style plastic. Here's sheet music again. Anything you could imagine he was involved in, just like a modern-day star would be now. Sheet music would be one thing that they collected back then, and people would have sung this at home at their own house. So $27.96 on this one. Next one, another postcard, another Ross Verlag German postcard. 12 bucks, but this is just the standard typical one. You really want the one with Babe Ruth on it. Next one is just a Time magazine with him on the cover. It has a story inside it as well. It only sold for 10. They only listed it at 10 as a buy it now, and that's what it sold for. I would have probably put this up for 27.50. Again, don't put it at what everybody else does it. Give it a chance, put it up a little higher and see what happens. And the next one here is just some print ads with Harold Loy in it. This just gives you an idea on the type of material to look for. Again, you've got to know some of this material. You've got to understand why they're popular sometimes in some cases to know why he would be sought out, to know that he would be more popular than, say, somebody else like Fatty Arbuckle or one of these other comedians of the era. Well, there you go. That's what I have for you today. Hopefully that was interesting. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.